So I'm getting a lot of messages lately, especially on TikTok, about what a typical day looks like, what I do over the course of the day. So I documented a day and made into a video. So the day starts pretty much anywhere from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., depending when the girls wake up. Today I woke up about 7.30, they were still sleeping. So I'll get up, put on a cup of tea, then I'll hop on the computer. Check out some pre-market trading, any finance news, any trades I have open or need to adjust. Go on trading view, check out some charts, any stocks that I got, any stocks that I'm looking at, just any overall research that I'm looking at at the moment. Once I'm done with that, if they're still asleep, I still have time, I'll get some editing done. Any free time is usually good for editing. Hop on Premiere Pro and try and finish any editing of any videos that I have open, try and upload them, any research for few, um, further videos, anything that I could get finished. So the girls finally get up, make them something to eat, usually fruit, cereal. Today I have some oranges, some bananas, cut that up, get them something to eat before I gotta start getting Olivia ready to go to school. Once the girls eat, watch a little TV, I'll get their teeth brushed, hair combed, get them dressed, and get them ready to get out the door because we need to drop off Olivia at school. She needs to be at school by nine o'clock, a little before nine. This way the teachers get her and bring her into school. We'll head outside, get in the car, and be on our way. And of course, Sienna needs to come along for the ride. So today, Sienna has speech therapy. So during that time, I'll use that to make breakfast. I don't need to be in the room with Sienna during speech. So this gives me some time to myself. So I have some oatmeal, some blackberries and raspberries in there, a sprinkle of ground cinnamon, and then a cup of green tea. I'll take that and I'll head back to the computer. At this point, I'll check my emails for the website. I'll do some editing on that as well. Anything I need to get done. I'm always trying to upload new videos and new content on the website. So once speech is done, I'll give Sienna a snack, got some cereal for her, and I'll let her watch some of her shows. Let her relax a bit. I had to wake her up, take Olivia to school, had her speech therapy so she could watch some TV. After some TV, Sienna and I will head downstairs in the playroom. She'll play with her toys. She has these little tower building flower pod things. She really likes it. And she'll just play with this. I'll hang out with her for a bit, and then I'll head in the laundry room while she plays and get some laundry done. A load of towels, get that going and the girls clothes. There's literally never a day where there aren't clothes for the girls that need to be washed. So I'll get a load of that going. Then I'll head back in there, let Sienna play a little more. I'll head upstairs, start making her lunch. Got these Trader Joe's noodles, a lot better than the ramen that you get in the stores, higher quality. Cook those, add a little bit of butter, crack an egg, mix that in, let the egg cook. Then I'll finish with some Parmesan cheese. She really likes this. Bring up Sienna, give her a seat, give her a drink, and her lunch. While Sienna eats that, I'll hang out, go on the iPad. But today, we got some bills to pay. Get that done while Sienna eats her lunch. So after lunch, if it's early enough in the day, I'll give Sienna a nap. If we give her a nap too late, then she won't go to bed later, and we got a big problem. So I'll put her in her bed, wait till she falls asleep, Took a few minutes for her to fall asleep. She turned on the light, was playing around a bit. So I have to head upstairs, shut off the light. Then I'll let her sleep a bit, half hour, 45 minutes. While she's sleeping, I'll head downstairs and I'll get a workout in. On days she doesn't have a nap, I could take her downstairs, leave her in the playroom while I get a workout in. But today she's sleeping, I bring the monitor down with me and I get to work out. Once I'm done with that, go upstairs, make a protein shake, and at this point, we've got to get Sienna awake. So I'll make this, and I'll try to start getting her awake. She lays in the crib a bit, I'll finish my protein shake. Then I'll go upstairs, and I'll get Sienna, bring her down, let her wake up a bit. She's not too happy. And then let her watch a little bit of TV to wake up. But then we got to get ready, because we got to go pick up Olivia from school. Get Sienna's rain boots on, get her jacket on, because, of course, when we got to get Olivia, it's starting to pour. Sienna and I hop in the car and we go and get Olivia from school. Just got our umbrella, bring her back. Once we get back, we're ready for snacks. Today we got some Trader Joe's yogurt. Give one to Sienna. She'll enjoy it. Hopefully she doesn't make too much of a mess. And one for Olivia. They're in separate rooms because they're watching different things on TV. 
So while the girls finish their snacks, I'll finish folding those towels, put those away. This way that's done. It's raining. We can't go outside. So we head upstairs in the girls' room. We'll play a bit. After the girls play a bit, I'll try and put their clothes away best I can. And they're really enjoying the camera. They don't know why it's there. And they just keep knocking it down. So it's okay. <laughs> try and get as much clothes put away as I can before Sienna here picks up the camera and knocks it over. After a while, Vera finally comes home. The girls are happy to see Mommy. Talk to Vera a bit, see how her day went. Finish putting away the clothes, head downstairs, and I watch a bit of TV. After a while, get dinner ready. Today I have yellow rice with some crispy skin bronzino and some garlic green beans. I watched TV for like a half hour. It took about an hour to get dinner ready. I listen to music while that happens. Finish with a little Dijon hollandaise. Then I'll get the girls downstairs and we'll all have dinner. Once we're done with dinner, Vera and the girls will go inside. I'll clear the table. I'll start washing the dishes, clean up the kitchen. Once the kitchen's cleaned, I'll head upstairs, finish putting away the girls' clothes, which is a lot easier because they're downstairs with Vera, and then she gets them ready to go in a bath. This is in our bathtub. This is at my mother's house, but just to give you reference, a little bubble bath, they loved it. And while they're in the bath, I'll relax a bit and watch some TV, or today I'm playing some chess. Once the girls are done with their bath, they'll have a snack, they'll brush their teeth, and then they'll get ready for bed. I'll take them upstairs, usually read a story, and then get them ready to go to bed. Olivia will hop in, I'll lay with Sienna, then I'll head downstairs once they fall asleep, and I'll start making everyone's lunch for tomorrow. We've got Olivia's lunch for school, peanut butter and Nutella, oh, I'm sorry, it's not peanut butter, it's sunflower. She has a girl with a peanut allergy, sunflower and Nutella sandwich. Put an orange in there. And then I'll give her some of these veggie sticks here. And then throw in a few gummy bears. Throw in a juice pack and a yogurt with a spoon. Close it up. Olivia's lunch is ready to go. Then we'll make Vera's lunch for tomorrow. I have some leftover pasta with sausage and escarole that I made here. Put that in a container. Close that up. And I try to give Vera things that are easy to eat because she works out of our car. She doesn't have an office really. So we'll give her some rice cakes, an apple, some shelled pistachios, and a flavored seltzer. Put down her bag and Vera's lunch is ready to go. Olivia's lunch is ready to go. Pop in the fridge. Vera could just grab it before she goes to work. And at this point, I'll hop in the shower. Once I get out of the shower, I'll go in the den. I'll watch some TV or hop on the computer, but the girls have Book Island that I have to put away. They take out all the books. And they have to stand on it like a book island. They can't touch the floor. This is the game they like to play. So I'll put away the books, hop back on the computer, and I'll do some more editing. Unless Vera's using the computer for work. But she's not tonight. She's taking a bath, reading in the tub, relaxing. So I'll get some editing done while she takes a bath. Be on the computer for about an hour and a half before heading off to bed.